Ljubljana, Slovenia is Europe's best kept secret. It's got a bit of Game of Thrones in it, known as the City of Dragons, but it is a cute little picturesque city with a medieval castle overlooking the city and an old town with its pedestrian center, colorful buildings, sculptures and monuments, amazingly nice people, and incredible food. It is Slovenia's capital and largest city. Though it is one of the smallest European capitals, it was once a part of Yugoslavia, but became independent in 1991. Ljubljana is located right outside the Julian Alps and is a youthful city surrounded by 50,000 university students and is Slovenia's cultural hub. The curving Ljubljana River runs straight through the heart of the city and is lined with enticing outdoor cafes dividing the city's old town from its commercial district. We arrived at Ljubljana via train from Vienna. It's about a five to six hour train ride, but you get to travel through the Julian Alps and have stunning views. We stayed at the Intercontinental Hotel there, and it was about a five minute walk from the train station, and then about a 10 minute walk to the old town. The city itself is an easy one to get around by foot and is quite a romantic stroll at night if you stroll next to the Lubianica River. The old town is full of incredible restaurants with cuisine being a combination of Austrian and Italian. Slovenia is most well known for its truffles, which you'll find in almost everything. And it's also known for its unfiltered orange wine. Most people have never heard of the wine because it is not exported. It is one of their secrets in Slovenia, just like everything else there. We ate at so many restaurants there, it's impossible to list all of them, but all I can say is that the food was some of the best we've ever had in Europe. We stayed in Ljubljana for three and a half days and also taking some day trips, and then again for another day after heading to the southern coast of Slovenia. Our first few days were unfortunately super rainy, but we had some nice weather after our trip south. Our last day there was a Sunday and the streets were packed with everyone out and about just enjoying the city, sitting around, eating and drinking. As you stroll around the small old town, you find lots of dragons and lots of bridges. The dragon is Ljubljana's most recognizable citizen and is a symbol of the protector of Ljubljana. It is visible in almost every official representation of the city, including its coat of arms. From its initial portrayal as a monster, the dragon gradually transformed into a symbolic protector of the city, embodying power, courage, and wisdom. As far as bridges go, you'll definitely want to check out the Dragon Bridge, which can be found over by the Riverside Market Building. The bridge was built in the beginning of the 20th century when Ljubljana was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. As one of the best examples of reinforced concrete bridges and of the Vienna Secession style. The bridge is today protected as a technical monument. Next to that bridge, you'll find the Butcher's Bridge, which is a little footbridge that connects the Ljubljana Central Market and the Petkovsek Embankment. It is also known for its love locks. When it was finally opened in July 2010, Butcher's Bridge became quite famous. Not so long after the opening, people started hanging locks on it. Different kinds of padlocks from couples in love started appearing on its steel wires symbolizing declarations of eternal love. 
At the other end of the old town, you will find the Cobbler's Bridge, or the Shoemaker's Bridge, a pedestrian bridge crossing the Lubianica. It connects the two major areas of medieval Ljubljana and is decorated by two kinds of pillars. The Corinthian pillars, which showcases the shape of the bridge itself, and the iconic pillars as lamp bearers. The Prosarian Square is the central square in Ljubljana. It is part of the Old Town's pedestrian zone and a major meeting point for festivals, concerts, sports, and political events. There you'll also find the Triple Bridge. The Triple Bridge is a group of three bridges across the Lubianica River. It connects Lubiana's historical medieval old town on one bank and the modern city of Lubiana on the other. You'll also want to make sure that you check out the Lubiana Central Market. Open every day except Sunday and located between the Triple Bridge and the Dragon Bridge on the right bank of the Lubianica River. It is both open and covered and has everything that you can imagine. If you're looking to bring home some truffle goods, this is the place to purchase them. Another must see for an amazing view of the city is visiting the Lubiana Castle. The castle complex stands on Castle Hill above the old city and is a key landmark of the town. Originally a medieval fortress in the 11th century and rebuilt in the 12th century, it acquired its present outline with an almost complete overhaul in the 15th century. To get up top, we took the funicular. It's about 13 euro to visit the castle and funicular. When you come down, also make sure that you visit the Ljubljana Cathedral. It will cost you two euro to enter, but you'll see by the incredible sculpted door that this ornate cathedral is worth a look. We would definitely consider going back to this incredible city just based on its beauty, people, and its food. In fact, I think our favorite part was definitely the eating. If you've been to Ljubljana, I'd love to hear about your experience. And if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. See you next time.